Welcome back everyone to Old Rural Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. Right now, we have a positive review in the Ghoul Travel Guide. The Ghoul Travel Guide issued a rave review for our hotel and services. The Travel Guide praised all the all-you-can-eat buffet. Yum! The generous casino tables and the wonderful gift shop we run. This will surely attract more business, although we didn't think ghouls ate. And it will charge them either way. We get 15 more manpower. Look at that. And we get 2,500 more caps, which is a great, great thing because we have one fully running casino as well as a number one roadside attraction we got a lot of political power and we're about to finish up family businesses if you'd like to reread that please go right ahead but after that we can do the pit boss or we can do the black sheep but we have a couple comments to go through uh but i asked you guys yesterday should we support the clans or should we support the city dwellers now there's support for both sides ultimately there is more support for us to go down Support the clans. A significant part of the people of our nation live in rural areas and are selfly self-governed, largely self-governed, and self-sustaining. We need to reassure them our decisions won't negatively impact their way of life, while also trying to bring them closer into the fold. We can't be a powerful nation during these times if everyone is doing what they want. Increases clan was at power support by three. So even though there's more support for the clans, someone did leave a good comment saying that, you know what? Look how hi history turned out when we supported the clans instead of supporting the city dwellers. Maybe it would be smarter to go with the city dwellers, but that's okay. And I also ask you guys yesterday whether to improve clan housing or reclaim the skyscrapers versus, you know, organizing scavenging teams and opening a, a black drink bottling cap, as well as new world tactics, as well as old world knowledge, weapons fit for the waste, and the weapons of war, the future of war from the past. So, <clears throat> we'll get down there. When we get down there, oh, there's actually another research. Oh, there's another research slot we can grab. Nice. Currently, though, what we're building, oh, well, we just built, apparently, just built, was well, a military factory because we could really, really use more guns. And we got one more factory working on guns, which would be great. Great, great. Ooh, crowd control here. Very nice. I like that. But, uh, we're already half, wow, we're already halfway through that. Cool. Let's see. Cool. Yep, yep. You guys definitely recommended a lot of different paths, which is pretty nice. And how does, ooh, infrastructure. Wow. Plus 25% is a pretty darn nice. So, we're going to focus on this side quite a bit. I did ask you guys yesterday as well whether we should go with more like respectable, nicer businesses or taking a cut. So, we definitely have um, support for both sides, but there's one side that got just quite a bit more. But we're going to go after this one. Between clan housing and reclaiming the skyscrapers, there's a little bit more support for us to currently go with reclaim the skyscrapers. Even though improved clan housing... Um, you get three civilians and two more city sw s s dweller support versus this. But overall, I would claim the skyscrapers was more popular, we'll say. Uh, let's see. You want saws, dynamite? Dynamite is always good for infantry. Just get a little bit more of a push. Just a little bit more push to get stuff out. So, nice. We want definitely that stuff. Cool. So, we shall reclaim the skyscrapers. Even though those city dwellers live, as the name, name suggests, in the cities, very few of the pre-war skyscrapers and high-rises are actually inhabited. This is due to the often dreadful state of especially their upper floors, 200 years of the elements beating on those buildings led to missing walls, collapsed floors, and various other issues. If we just fix some of them, we'll open a lot of space for further ventures. Nice, get three more civilian workshops, which is actually really good. A good evening. While nothing special is happening this evening, earning through good all around, we should invest this money back into our casinos as long as we... As long, as long as even slow evenings can bring in a nice profit, we are doing well. On to the next day. How much money do we have? We have 256, which is not bad. Tax breaks, then slipways. Monthly population goes up. Currently, we get a monthly population increase of five a month. Man, we got to produce more babies. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's grab some radio. I like radio a lot. Cool. And then, research. Yeah, get some simple circuitry done. 80s player one rifle. Well, well, no one wants to kill us off yet, which is a good thing. Maybe we'll do that one. I think maybe we get some more cap and growth. It's just so we can output more, because we really, really need to get the next level of guns going. So, we'll probably do that. Up next. <clears throat> and some people do appreciate that I play some of the minor nations in Overworld Blues from one of the comments from yesterday, just because uh, I don't think there's a lot of people playing a lot of Overworld Blues. I could be wrong about that, but even then, like, a lot of the minor nations not really played, so... We'll see what happens. We will definitely, definitely see what happens. Sun dogs. I assume he plays Lania sometime. And he plays Ironmongers too. Eden looks kind of, kind of large. Not bad. Ironmongers looking like they looking a little weak. Then again, I never. Oh, Juggernaut. Wow. Dislikes the Brotherhood of Steel. Extra plus five scrap. Not bad. We got a lot of political power. Look at that. But after this one, I guess we're pretty much forced to do this one. And oh, oh what is this? One of the following. One of the following. So to do this, reclaim the skyscrapers versus improve housing. 
So it is. Oh, so we can choose one of these as well. Clan support, monthly manpower plus 0.03%. Construction speed and city dweller support. I like that construction speed, but we've already got a little bit more city dweller support with this one. Actually, is that a national spirit that we can adjust or anything like that? Let's see. Free trade center, the support of our people. Okay. No? Okay. Oh, we do have proje protected caravans. That's kind of nice. Why don't we get that? Huh. Clan farm uh, steads. We are going to open up a bo black drink bottling cap. So, clan support. Uh, I like the monthly manpower, but I'm thinking we might just go with this one. Clear the streets of rubble. So, and that would help us with this stuff as well. For bottling clap, claps, caps. I like the, it's not much construction speed, but infrastructure construction speed. We're already doing that. Uh, how many babies are we going to have? Only three now? Hmm. Maybe clear the streets of rubble. And some of our cities getting from point A to B is a serious struggle due to collapsed buildings and various other debris blocking streets and side and walkways. And we don't want people to make a short trip through the sewers, up and down a three-story building, and slide down a zipline just to buy food one street over. We need to do something about that. Slightly better construction speed. I mean, it's already really good anyways, but why don't we just maximize it out? So whenever I play as one of those other nations here, including the Cherokee Nation and the Choctaw Nation, maybe we'll choose the other one. Maybe. So we'll see what happens. No guarantees, but we will see what happens. Uh, way too ahead of time. Let's grab some irrigation. That'd be nice. All right. So how many guns are we out now? That's not bad. We got plenty of support equipment, which is good, 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 good. Oh, do we have it? Oh, I forgot. We had a ship this entire time. Silly me. And led by Un Ed Edna, Un Edna Aranado. That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good admiral. I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty good admiral. We can use more manpower too, of course, but yeah, it is what it is. Oh, dynamite. Yes, please. Uh, get some dynamite first. <clears throat> and military sending bonuses. We got the money for it. Might as well get some more manpower that way. Looks like we just deployed another division. Cool. Yeah, we're actually doing pretty darn well now. Cool. Streets of Rubel. I don't want to that too much. I think for now... Oh, jackpot. Awesome. No, wait. That's a bad thing if you own a casino. Someone made bank and went home with a massive pile of caps. He didn't even have the courtesy to tip the dealer or spend it at the in-house bar. I guess that means your pockets will be a little less full in the near future. We lose 15,000 caps, but we made 10,000 more, or 25,000, so. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Frontline operative. Kawehuma Wildcat. Cool. Because that will just be hopefully beneficial for us, period. 10 more days, 10 more days. Eh. Organized scavenging teams. Nice. We're going to go and do open a black drink bottling cap plant. The black drink is a traditional caffeinated beverage of our people. If we can brew it on a larger scale and bottle it, we can sell it to people as a fresh new alternative to the local pre-war favorites, balls, or even maybe some Nuka-Cola. We should consider getting rid of the whole vomiting after drinking bit, though. That aspect would probably hurt the bottom line. Yeah, bot vomiting after drinking it a bit? Hmm. Yeah, that's probably not good for business, just saying. But who am I? I'm not a business owner. I don't think I am. Unless we consider this a business. Also, there was a comment saying I should do tribal tech. Well, we can't. I'm not sure why it's here. Because we're not technically a tribal nation. Because we got a lot of technology here. Actually, we're pretty we're pretty much medium on everything. Maybe except for like power armor and robotics, which makes sense. Yeah, we're civilized. We're tribal. And we're not really raiders. So, it's unfortunate. I, I know that we could... I, I love doing this tribal stuff. I really enjoy it. Like, I think it's really great. It's almost... I won't say maybe be overpowered, but it's... It's quite powerful, we'll say. Quite, quite powerful. Horse breeding programs. The stock we have brought with us from Diana won't last forever. We need to think long term if we want to keep using horses years down the line. While the need for a dedicated breeding program is clear, the specifics are up for discussion, as is how much of our current stock we dedicate to it. <clears throat> the more ho horses are bound up in breeding programs, the less we have for our current needs. Large scale, the option offers the biggest bonus at the cost of the longest production penalty time. Medium, specialize, specialize. Uh, medium, small, specialized breeding. Huh. So I'm going to assume we can get this again, maybe, when we play as one of these other two uh, other, you know, allied nations with us. Large scale seems good. I'm not using many, so maybe we'll use this one. The option offers good bonus with a short production penalty time, but the resulting horses are hard to tame and less reliable. Ooh, less reliable, are hard to tame. Let's just do large scale. I like it large scale. We don't even have a breeding program right now, so uh, we don't even have any horses either, so we might as well just do that, right? Form to manpower. After a radio, let's grab some polyalphabetic ciphers. And we gotta do the family business just because I think that is what sparks uh, the interaction between us and the last patrol. So we should really probably do that very soon. We're not looking like we have a lot of manpower left. So, 
It is what it is, and I would like to get just a little bit more army XP so I can make these guys 20 combat with, or maybe throw on some anti-tanks, some demo teams. That would be pretty darn nice. But what are we building right now? Oh, we're done building a lot of things. Ooh, that's not bad. The big spend, I think the first people's junction, that's where the trade node is. So this is not even connected. So actually, I think we might just go with this. There you go. Cool. This is very odd. We're not, we're not at war yet with like too many other people, like or anyone at all. So this feels very odd to me, especially in old world blues where we just want to just beat the crap out of people. Uh, actually, huh. hmm. Scrap a compact. Scrap a compact. Wow, that takes so long. You know what? We might as well. I don't think anyone goes to war with them. I could be really wrong about that, but that's all right. I think that's still part of Oklahoma, isn't it? Yeah, South Oklahoma. Never been to Oklahoma. Maybe we should go sometime. Yeah, getting these guys interested with all this political power. I mean, those populations are not too bad. Even though technically, maybe that's not a good idea because we do get to revive the state of Sequoia eventually. So, call it for bag ciphers. Yeah, the state of Sequoia. That'd be actually really nice. So, actually, maybe we should wait to do that. Mm, new capital, ruling body, part of history. Cool. And it's all right. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, we didn't do land auction yet. Hmm. Well, horses. It's not conventional to use horses. Hmm. You know what we're going to do? What if we went down conventional warfare, but then double backed after we get mobile fortifications and then did asymmetric warfare? We're going to do that. We're going to use asymmetric warfare with radios and mobile fortifications. I should have done this a lot earlier, but whatever. It is what it is. Traditional values. Yes. Reopen coal mines. Dismantle old bunkers. I want a beeline for that research slot, so... And since we're going to go to war eventually anyway, so dismantle the old bunkers. The bunkers in which our people survived the Great War have stopped serving their purposes a long time ago. Some were kept around for sentimental reasons, as monuments or simply as warehouses, but we need to look to the future instead of the past, and they will serve a better way or better use as a source of construction material and equipment than dusty mementos of a past long ago, which is very good. And so here we have it, my friends. Ultimately, Old World Knowledge 1 with admits boxes with dirty and water-stained papers that are entirely useless to us. We found a sealed metal box containing solid instructional information about how to build a lot of electronic equipment from scratch. Lucky find, which is very, very good. And we've got it done already. So, uh, we'll go with weapons fit for the wastes. The future of war from the past, which sounds really cool, but let's go increase the clan support just a little bit more for now. A lot of the more high-end weaponry of yesteryear years is not sturdy enough to sustain the environment of the wasteland for a longer period of time. We may need to look back to the more simpler, or, or, simpler constructions <clears throat> that are easier to produce and to maintain. The Little Brother of War, though. The first full-scale stickball match took a while to get going. There are various versions of the rules that are half remembered by participants and judges, and nobody could agree on a single one. Some wanted to go with the lacrosse rule set, since it had the most comprehensive rule set of all variations uh, that survived the war. Others want to go back to the more traditional versions that got passed down through our generations. In the end, a weird mix of multiple rule sets was adopted as a new official stickball rules. The game lasted a good, lo good four hours and ended with a brawl because one team didn't agree with the final score. All in all, everyone agreed that they all had a good time and should repeat it as soon as possible. Good training for warriors versus maybe all the strategic... Or the, all the strategies could translate to actual war. Um, I'm actually going to do this one because we're going to have to go basically do a double land doctrine with only getting one land doctrine done. So that wouldn't be too bad. But I would like to read the other focus as well. There we go. Finally. Oh, thank goodness. So we're doing that one, but a new world tactics. While moving some of the old holotip recorders, we found one that had a master reel in it with loads of information about large scale troop warfare, stating that or strategies and planning. While a lot has. It has to be adapted to the current state of the world. Most of it will be very useful to us. Cool. So, oh, actually, it was conventional warfare. Oh, that actually would have been really, really beneficial. But you guys did recommend the old world knowledge, so we went that way. And after that, we will probably go with a functioning mainframe. Clearly, the biggest find we had in the process of dismantling the bunker was that the mainframe installed into it was fully functional if powered down. If we move all the important bits to a more accessible place and power it up, this will be a big boon to everything that requires efficient data storage and processing, like our research. There isn't even an evil AI running on it. Probably. So after that one, then we can do ancestral ways eventually. We get Autisan Villages, an adaptation doctrine. Aut Autisan Villages. Uh, well, let's do, look at this up first. Artisan Villages, huh? That sounds kind of like kind of like, like fun. Uh, get some drop tanks because we can use them. After recycling, we're going to go ahead and grab 
That's not that hard to tell. Complicated circuitry, so that's not too bad. It's almost 2279, and we still haven't even had a lick of war yet. we got about 20 days left for that. And then conventional warfare, shall we? And then battle plans. I mean, we'll still use this no matter what happens. Actually, how much... I think it's 2,000 political power we can keep in our stockpile at a time, which is... Not too bad, even though we're still lacking a lot of manpower. Even though we still got that military construction or military signing bonuses going on, so not bad. Yeah, we... Oh, no. Oh, I did grain solicitations. We have 361 oh, caps. We can only get 9 people a month, which isn't bad, and we shall do a functioning mainframe to get another research slot. But I think immediately we should probably... Well, hunting down weapons caches or stashes, as well as... Ooh, look at that. That's not too bad. Repair industrial complexes, but I think we'll go with the pit boss. Uncle Liam has been the pit boss for the Red River Casino since before I was born. He's been an advisor to my parents, and he is one to me currently. If there is something going on, either in the casino or in the area at large, he is first to know. And if you'd like to read about the mute fruit and Bobby, please go right on one more time. Attract foreign caravan companies. We send messages far and wide to test as many promising foreign caravan companies as we can to put down routes that uh, are at least in outposts in our lands. Promises were made to subsidize them for some time or give them exclusive rights to whatever market they're trying to corner. The first batch of answers has arrived and we can pick whoever we think we will give us the most benefit. The Crimson Caravan, all the way from the West Coast, comes a well-established caravan company that excels at producing and shipping agricultural and industrial goods. I like that. Diamond Shipping Company, a company that sells all manners of goods all along the Mississippi with a small fleet of refurbished ships. Not bad. That's good efficiency plus 50% isn't too bad. Ozark Lodging. Or logging. While their big seller is still the, the is still the quality wood they get from what remains of the nearby national park, they branched out into other goods as well, like the unique plants with special properties that grow deep in the wilderness. The even better support company of production costs, more reliability and resource efficiency gain, or Crimson Caravan. I like the Crimson Caravan. But we're already doing really extremely well with building, so as much as I want to do that, I think we'll go with Ozark Lodging, even though we already have a bunch of support equipment as well. Maybe not uh this is just kind of useless for us because we're not really using it. Construction speed I love, but we'll go support equipment, which means we can need less factories to put stuff on there, which is actually really cool. And we can go to war with these guys now. Now, it's probably not a smart idea to go to war with them now. We don't have the manpower. Actually, I've already raised our conscription level by one level. Um, but actually, you're still mobilizing, right? That's good. I'm going to go to buy a war by early April, so it's probably not a great idea to go to war, but I want to go to war, first of all, to get more army XP. I want our guys to train a little bit more and get some more air XP because I did deploy some planes as well, which is pretty darn nice, I'd say. But, uh, yeah. We don't have a lot of planes, so let's just go to war. And have a good time, hopefully. And I want them to attack us. Maybe we'll do okay, maybe we won't. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I'm not gonna call these guys in, because I don't want them to come in. I want this, I want us to struggle together. Nice. I want to gr grind out a bunch of army XP if we can possibly can. Ooh, that is not good right there. 30%. Ooh, 31, 30. Ooh, boy, it's gonna be kind of a big thing. But we got battle plans, so that's okay. And field fortifications, yes, it does lower our stability, but I don't really care, to be honest, right now. don't really care too much. We got some drop tanks done. Very, very nice. And we are going with flamethrowers right now because, well, I think we need a, a good old grill in the uh, casino area, if you catch my drift. We need to be grilling a lot of things. Actually, for you guys, we have no manpower for this, but... Uh, we, oh, yeah, we have just barely enough to do that. Nice. And that should give us just, just enough oomph. To be able to stand up to our enemies here. Oh boy, they are not doing well down there now, are they? How many guys are attacking you? Nine divisions versus five. And you still can't win, huh? Well, that that really sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and it gives our general some XP, which they could really, really, really use. Equipment capture ratio gain. I like that. You know what? I always go with Mysterious Ranger. I want Idiot Savant. Good. Oh, we got. Oh, nice. Alright, so we've lost 171, which is quite a bit, versus 488, which isn't great. Oh, the guys are still training. Nice. We will attack, 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 but we'll see what happens. Let them get a little more strength first. They got up to 25 divisions. They have up to 1,200 manpower, even though we're... Uh, there's no point in not even just... Let's go up higher. Why not? Why not? Come on, guys. Keep attacking. Let's see what happens. Please. Oh, look at that. 11 army XP. So we fish up the pit boss. Let's go with the black sheep. Aspen is... She always was the odd one out. Didn't take too well to a floor job in one of the casinos. Didn't want to have to do anything with the logistic and management side of it either. And after our parents died, she fell in with a certain group of people that... Let's say I wouldn't usually let them step inside one of our casinos, but... She's still family, and it's one of my duties to see our family prosper. It is what it is. 
press captures Scrapper plan. Somehow members of the press have captured Scrapper's plans for a major offensive. It turns out that the same reporters who criticize our glorious government are also willing to report on our foes' movements. This is a stern reminder that whatever our differences, we're all Muskegee... Uh, Chickasaw Muskegee Coalition. They can't stop the press. Oh, they can try, but okay, with corruption in the big spend. We're just going to read out the injustice. We read that yesterday, so there you go. Oh, we've got some outriders. Look at that. Nice. Very cool. Oh, they have some stuff on them already. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Lord of the Pit. Oh, he's going to be riding high today. Not inspirational. Land night attack probably would be best for us. Actually, do they have any recon on these guys? Yeah, they do. It helps that they have recon, so. Uh, that person. Yeah, I'll go with that one by now. Recon, more recon, might as well max it out if we possibly can. If we had to make it in circle, it would be here to there, probably. One, two, three. Yeah, it'd probably be the best to put them right there. Nice. Another horse, too. Look at that. Two outriders. Love it. Wait, do we have three? Three outriders. I don't think I was making that many outriders. No, I only this guy going. Okay, cool. It's kind of disappointing that they ain't trying to attack anymore, but whatever. I love to tell you to go away. And then we'll see what happens with that. Focus fire, maybe. Perhaps. And, yeah, they're not taking the bait. That's big sadness. That is some big sadness hours right there. Oh, man. I wish they'd just keep attacking like crazy. But, who knows? Maybe we can just go right on in. Help them out. Well, we're doing pretty well against them. Get a little more manpower. Is there any penalty for raising a conscription level one more time? There's literally no penalty, so you might as well just do it. Nice. Now we gotta be smart about this. We have no resistance yet. Even though it would be, would be better to put, uh, do some other stuff like get out of the war, but whatever. I doubt anyone has really real upgrades. Oh, there goes captured Lost Hills Bunker. Goodbye, Lost Hills Bunker. Anything else here? Oh, yes. Miniature circuitry. We could probably go with long range radio already, but. Eh. And I'll get some rapid prototyping up. I think that's a, just a little bit better for us. Vehicles. Maybe we should get some field hospitals as well. Lord of the Pit falls ill. That's not good. Yeah, let's get some healing powder. I kind of like that one too. And we're running out of things to build. All right then. We've already built up all the infrastructure. We've already built up all the plane bases that we need for the most part. Um, I don't want to build forts because that could ruin like how people want to attack me. There you go. You do that. Maybe. Yeah, we're starting to run out of things to build here. Uh, naval base. I can build some naval bases here if we need more places to repair, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely need to go to war with more people. Woof. There you go. Try that. It's four divisions. It's quite a few, but we should do it relatively okay, right? At least we can edit this division, which is pretty good. All right, so we got enough for this. That'll be pretty beneficial, I think. And... Unrest in the houses of light. So while uh, some of our family are discontent with how the nation is currently run, while business is going strong, they are still questioning me at every point, arguing for allowing hard chems and casinos and slavery bring, being allowed. There seems to be a division forming between those that support me and those who follow these radical ideas. Ooh, we lose political power. That's a lot of political power loss every day, but that's all right. Just kind of hang on, hold out for now. Oh, mysterious stranger attacks. A wandering hooligan interfered in a battle between one of our warriors and a raider and shot our guy. Even the raiders were appalled and asked why he took their side. Apparently, the fool assumed we were the villains because of the poor quality of our hospitality industry. Everyone's a critic, of course. As long as no one else tries to join a war against us. That's the most important thing. We got five divisions stuck here in Chickasha. Chickasha. I thought we were the Chickasha. Huh. Cool. We'll let the horses lead the way. Or maybe have you guys attack, actually. Yeah, they do get a lot more supply because it's, uh... Actual victory point there, which sucks, but whatever. I have everyone come on in the battle. Five enemy divisions go bye bye. Yes, please. Oh, we get Pearson too. Nice. Unrest in the houses of Lot. The criminal element. Sad there's always something a somewhat organized criminal underground in our nation. Considering the situation back then, it sprung up qu surprisingly quick after we settled this area. Now it seems to be, though, on the rise. Most likely fueled by those members of my family that tend to see their activities in more favorable light. Oh, we're going to hurt ourselves with this a little bit, but that's all right. Mm, Mongo rolls. Let's go with high pressure. We like to cook with some high pressure. Maybe sustain pressure so we can cook for longer, but that's all right. All right, not bad. Natural disasters. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. How many caps do we have? We have plenty enough. We can just do that one. I don't lose stability. Any more stability, at least. All right, so we got to make another encirclement here. So you guys are just going to go here to Bing Bong Boom. Or maybe just go over there to Corroded Fields, maybe. Well, at least encircle three more divisions of us Three, two, one, let's go. 
and all but you go there and all but you go right there and all but you head on down bouncers to the southern part and you can help support the attack if you really want to too political bribes war and clear one of the claim jumpers oh, oh there we go we can do something like this mobilize the people no no let's see some patriotism maybe now nah, we good all right so overall between this one or taking a cut there's more respect more respect more support for respectable businesses. We never actually drew up a proper law specifying what casinos can and cannot get away with. If I want this place to be a destination for people from all across the wasteland, I can't afford to have it get a bad reputation. Nice. And that's going to move pretty quick, hopefully. Come on. Goodbye, hostile takeover Petro Chico. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Raider Tactics because we went with Pit Raiders. So that seems like it's a pretty neat thing to get. So 10% more tax is pretty nice. Head on in, boys and girls. We're going to show them a good old time. Nice. Very, very nice. I, I like these horses. I think that's a really cool addition. There you go. Head on in. Uh, you guys just hang out. Uh, you guys just support the attack. There they go. You should be able to win and circle three more divisions and just push all the way in. Beautiful. Don't leave, please. That would be very bad for the encirclement. Thank you very much. Uh, a little more army XP is pretty nice, not gonna lie. I like these horses a lot. Let's make more horses. Riders, outriders, where it's at. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. God dang it. Uh, we need more divisions then. Oh, we don't need that then. Thank you. How much? Oh, we don't have that much. Oh, hmm. hmm. Circle another whole division. Thank you. And here we go. There you go. Good luck. You guys immediately begin attacking there. Help out, maybe. Got a little bit of air XP as well. It's pretty nice. Heal and powder. Very good. At least we got a little bit of warfare. Even though we probably could have waited to do this a little bit later, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to have one of you guys come here. Thank you. Nice, another encirclement. Sign us up. Go ahead and kill them off. Very good, very good. You just head on down there, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Respectful business, huh? Cool. And we shall do armed bouncers. One thing that I need to do to keep a positive image for the area is getting our bouncers geared up so they can deal with any situation and keep undesirables out of our casinos. Before the war, bouncers mostly had to deal with drunken people starting a brawl nowadays. The brawl may include heavy weaponry, which is not good for business, but hey, it is what it is. Two more divisions go bye bye. Bye bye, enemy divisions. I'm really enjoying these horses. Let's get our guys all situated and stuff. Give them about five seconds and before. Okay, let's go. Nice. There you go. Help them out too. Why not? It's only another division to kill off by a. It's still an enemy division. Open up that combat with. There you go. Very nice. At this point, just let everyone go ahead. Yeah, they're not going to be able to stand up. How many have we killed? 3,000? Almost 4,000 versus less than 400. So, not too shabby, my friends. Let's grab some coordinated assaults. That'd be very, very good. Aw, oh, yeah. They're killed off. Oh, at least 4,000, which is pretty nice. I'm just going to take all the lands. It's fine, whatever. Before I forget. There you go. Get as much compliance as possible. That'd be very, very good. Harrison's boys arrive at the big spin. Uh-oh. The last patrol as a column solves are pretty much nothing better than glorified raiders. The boys club has been stealing from the Federation's lands for years now. But at least today they're paying customers. Maybe they learned their lesson after the last time we kicked them out. Let's hope they behave. Oh, good God. That is not good. Um, We only... I, I went with war with the Scrappers Compact because I'm pretty sure that there's only three areas that these guys can get into. Which is good for us, but you never know. New system and script package. Eh, it's not really worth it, I'll be honest. It's not really worth it. Arm bounces are pretty nice. Finally, the Harrison's boys are showing up. Last patrol soldiers aren't paying. Each and every one of them soldiers that have arrived as part of Harrison's gang have been refusing to pay us anything. They all insist on putting it on the tab of someone called Mike Roch. 
<laughs> but we have no idea who that is. Hello, has anyone seen Mike Roch? <laughs> uh, a good evening. Well, nothing was happening. Uh, yeah, as long as slow evenings can bring in nice profit, we're doing well. Cool. Patrol the streets. If we, if I expand the number of our balancers enough that I can actually make them not only guard the casinos, but patrol the surrounding area too, this is making it safer for everyone, and actually allowing more people to get here safely. And some of them might even decide to stay here permanently, which would be a pretty good thing. Worked a darn good thing. Damaged property, the big spend. Harrison's gang last night made an absolute mess of their hotel room. The rugs have been pulled out from the floor, and the lamps broken, and even the walls have been ripped apart. What are they even up to last night? The gang starting to seem like trouble. Are they? Yeah, they're exercising. Okay. Hopefully this is enough to help put down enemies, but we'll see what happens, man. God dang, it's still not enough. Um, Let's make sure those guys got enough of whatever they need. Do we have enough anti-tank? Yes, we do. Do we have enough cams? Oh, my God, yeah, we do. A drunken speech. Oh, we need more, way more manpower. Oh, boy. Oof. Harrison made it a point to invite the leadership of the Federation to the Big Spends Gambling Hall to witness a speech. It was possibly the literally the worst speech that anyone has ever said, ever. It went on for an hour and 20 minutes, Harrison speaking in a drunken drawl for hours about such topics as cultural unity, the importance of birthdays, and Mr. Entertainment's newest episode. The speech ended with the promise that Harrison from now on would bring him and every single one of his gang back to the Big Spend for every one of their birthdays. We have to stop this, my goodness. Oh wow, they're already maxed out here too. Heaven's Gate, Stonks, nice. That happens every campaign, so that's, that's why I always just click on it pretty quickly, so. Bad in the last patrol. It wasn't a tough decision to make. In fact, it was the only one we could make. If Harrison was allowed to bring all of his slugs to the big spin whenever they wanted, it would bankrupt the Federation in a few months. Let's hope they don't take this too hard. Hey, high pressure. I love high pressure. Just in time for some incinerators. We could wait on that just a wee bit. Ah, uh, get some more construction speed. Nah. That's too ahead of time, man. Too ahead of time. Radi radar? Sure, why not? I love radio. Radio? It's radar. What the heck am I saying? Words are difficult. Harrison's thugs on the move. It seems that Harrison didn't take too lightly to being banned from the big spam. His thugs are already in massing along the border with intent to make a crossing very, very soon. As long as they don't cause us trouble. Oh boy. Well, this is what we've been waiting for, my friends. Oh, look at that. We're going to need some guns, ain't we? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, what do we... Actually, what should I have done before? Uh, oh, these are special forces, though, so we don't we can't really use them. So we have to keep using militia forces for now. We could use riders, but we don't have the... Actually, we have enough infantry armor. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Point one, point four. What, oh, we're missing manpower. That's what we're missing. Scan just found something. Great! Thank you. Oh, look at that. We can build some more factories more quickly, but... It's not going to be a big issue for us, probably, right now. Hmm. Eh, I'll do advanced tools, because we can. Uh, maybe we should cut down on this a little bit more. There you go. Patrol the streets. An independent police force. I realize that our balances are already acting as a police force in our nation. Convincing enough people to make this officially the case shouldn't be too hard. Setting up an independent force that is not directly tied to any casino or other group allows us to efficiently combat crime and corruption. This will send a clear message to my distractors on what I believe should happen to dealers and slavers. Nice. Get some more consumer goods and passive income. Cool. And then I have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm as the last patrol is starting to get all angry with us. We should do relatively okay if here. Here, if not, we can always pull like a few divisions from here because we're looking pretty good here. Casino Royale. Still building supports up. Eh, I think these guys are just that's a little more important to do first. There goes Lord's Anointed Warden. All right. Point nine. Point two. Come on, guys. Nine divisions over there, eh? I really wonder if we could decor this stuff later on, but we'll see what happens. 4.3, not bad. Independent police falls. A night to remember. Our people will remember this now for a long time. I will for sure. A night to remember. Okay, how much longer? I'm, I'm ready to go, guys. Let's go. Let's, let's duke it out. Metro High Command. Scare Vanguard. I like the less damage garrisons. Oh, here we go. Well, it looks like we're doing well so far. These guys are trying to attack, which could be extremely dangerous, but... Looking not too bad so far. Loss. Oh, don't... Oh, this is glitch. God dang it. I can, I'm even try to right-click. Guys, I don't need your help. We'll be okay. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I'm glad you're showing up. They're attacking with nine divisions over there. Wow. 
But please don't attack just all willy-nilly over there. Before this goes on too much further, uh, let's take a look. Construction repair. They have less than a thousand map power. Look at that map power just dropping. Wow. Let's grab some postcode modifications. Route of guess. Not everyone here is ha have a good time. Oh, I already read this one, so if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. So, not bad. As long as we're winning, that's the most important thing, right? Uh, not to remember. Wow, this is a long one, isn't it? A police force that they couldn't control or bribe apparently was the last straw. It wasn't long after the official inauguration of the new police chief that things came to a head. Several members of the criminal org underground stormed many of the high-profile casinos. Trying to take out or take hostage leading members of the casino families all in a bid to gain control of the establishments, but we were prepared. I was prepared. They were greeted by a hail of bullets, a good amount from my own pistol, killing many and making the rest flee outside, waiting for something. To my dismay, I recognized a few faces among the dead, people I thought of as friends, family. I did not think the rift caused by our differing opinions went this deep. The initial wave of attack beaten back, I was about to retreat to one of the offices in the Red River Casino that was made into an impromptu war room, or, yeah, office. That's been joining me halfway there. I didn't see her in her defense, so I was pretty sure I knew what was going to happen. I was not surprised. Just sat in when she pointed a gun in my head. What came as a surprise, at least to her, was enough sticking out of her throat a blinking of an eye later. How to lead a casino was not the only thing that my parents taught me. Our family was the first out of the bunkers. We didn't survive up here a chance against raiders and hostile creatures. That is too, that too is part of my legacy. A legacy that Aspen did not want. Lessons she never learned. It's easy to see why they swayed her to her side. She had basically free access to wherever she feels like. This is invaluable if certain people want to gain information or access to certain areas. <sighs> After one last look at her body, I carried on. The night was still young, and they were still waiting outside. We radioed the police for assistance. This would be a trial by fire for them. Aspen, unfortunately, has been killed. Give more political power. A family to batter the family tempered. Oh, that is big sadness. Three Nation Trade Center. Old World Family Schematics, Coalition Gambling Act, A Family Divided, Dawn Will Arrive. Threatened Criminal Underground, okay. Family Tempered, not, oh, getting more Daily Army XP, look at that, nice. Uh, and if you went with that side, I guess you would have gone with a bird in a cage. Actually, that's not too bad, Daily Compliance Gain. Crime does not pay. The Queen of the Red River, oh my goodness, maybe we went to the wrong side, but proving her name. I was the one who that pushed the knife in her throat. It wasn't my first kill of the night, and it certainly wasn't the last. Much blood was spilled, a lot of it by my family members, on whichever side they ended up on in the end. I will carry the scars and lessons from that night with me for the rest of my life. More mobilization speed, more 20% divi division defense. Jesus, that's a lot. Wow. It's always good having family around you. Actually, how many divisions do they have? They might be mobilizing more. Up to 50, wow. Oh, we can see what they got, too. To lock some eyes, the center cannot hold. Goodbye, to lock. You better, uh, guys, get your butts in there. Coffee's pretty good. Hmm. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. What should we call our intelligence agency? That would be fitting for the Native American factions, such as uh, us, I think. I think this one would be the most appropriate since we do already have horses, so that'd be pretty darn nice. Advanced tools, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How about we grab some construction speed? Why not? Oh, they actually beat us back. Wow, look at that. They're actually fairly decently strong. Well, I don't think they'll be able to do this too much longer, just seeing as a... Uh, well, they're out of manpower, at least for, as far as we can tell, so... I wish I could see... It. Well, actually, we can see how many losses we've taken... About a thousand? Oh, we need to raise a conscription level, maybe. All right, just go and hold for now. Take some of you guys. We don't want them to flood down here, so. Cool. Actually, you know what? All you guys, just hang out. There you go. Can we mobilize any more? Might as well, right? It hurts our output just a little bit, but that's all right. We need the manpower right now. Postcode modifications, very good. More radar, thank you very much. Oh, there's a radar over there, huh? Yeah, these guys are attacking a bit extreme lock. Oh, do you guys have upgrades, maybe? Local leader's pretty good. Beloved leader, less defense? I'm not thinking about that. No, no, no. Fortunate leader's not bad. Um, leading just a normal group of infantry. Hmm, attack. Let's get more attack. I want to get more attack for later. That'll be okay. Nice. 
Oh boy, you can't you can't do that, man. Retreat and come back around. There you go. You're fast enough that you get an organization coming back too, so. There you go. Yeah, they're definitely killing themselves on the line. Look at that ghoul division. Holy crap. It's not smart to always attack, guys. Please stop. Please stop. Form a department. That'd be very nice. Oh, there goes Warden. Goodbye, Warden. Side channel attack is pretty nice. I'm glad we're actually at war. I'm really glad we're at war, finally. Proving her name? Rooting out corruption. Even if the majority of the big players that attacked us that might have fallen, either during the attack or in the various skirmishes that followed the next few days, I, a few escaped lying low, but I will find them. I will never have it come this far again. This ends now. Hmm. We need quite a bit more infantry ammo, hey? Coordinate attack. Let's grab tro trooper warfare. We well, got a lot of army XP now, which is nice. Yeah, I think these guys are doing force attack or something. Let's take a look. Maybe not you guys, but I don't know. It just seems like they, they they're running out of equipment. Or at least maybe manpower. Let's take a, let's take a look again. Um, they have dynamite. They got some saws. Basic melee weaponry. They're doing okay. It's just manpower. I'm thinking here. They probably mobilized, but still. Stonks, bull, maybe bear? That would be pretty darn nice. Get our little tile back here. Very, very good. And we do have air superiority, probably, maybe? Yeah, we do. Former departments. Oh, wow. 14.6. That's pretty good without that many of uh, them there. Solomon Degataga. Very, very nice. Actually, you guys can help us go right there so we can help uproot their entrenchment, which would be good. You can do that for now, do that, and we definitely... I think by a good end goal would be to kill off Lanius, so... Art of Hagelin. Very, very good. Jackpot. Oh, well, we got 10,000 more caps, not bad, 500-some. Uh, we probably need to do new systems care package, but that's alright. Help them out. I swear, look at how weak they're getting. Are they really doing, like, less damage or something? No, they're not. My goodness. I mean, this is a little insane, the amount of damage... That they're willing to take. They gotta be out of just men. Nice. Keep building, 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 guys. You're doing a great, 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 great job. After that, do that. And then uh, do that first. There we go. Not bad. Oh my gosh. Look how weak that division's getting. Holy crud. Hey, we got it back. Good job, guys. Good job. There you go. Nice. At this point, you might as well try to attack on, across the entire line. U5, great interception. You, you might actually be able to win too, but... Could you guys actually win there? Probably not. Yeah, no, hold. That's fine, just kind of hold. I'll send you back that way. Rooting out corruption, followed with... Preemptive measures. <clears throat> we need a better information network if we wanted to prevent anything from like this ever happening again. Liam was always good with ferreting out information. Maybe it's time to give him something more funding and people to really let that ability shine. We're need more manpower. And since we got these guys already, fire teams, yeah, that'd be pretty nice, but we don't need that right now. And let's go back over here and maybe do some more of this. Fire mixtures, get some doggies. Should probably get some doggies, why not? The chap, oh! Oh, they actually took it. Look at that. Good job, guys. Let's see what we can do about this. Mojave Territories and Fetines. Oh, yeah. I wish wish this wasn't glitch. I want to see how well we've done so far. Look at how weak they're becoming. Oh, are they doing last stand? No, 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 no. They're not. Jesus. Holy crap. That is so bad for them. Oh, boy. All right, you guys can go right on ahead. You'll be fine. Constru construction repair? Alright, so these guys did pretty darn well. I think it'd be good if we balance this out. Maybe this is good. Maybe this is not a smart idea. Maybe it is. But I'll give the uh, Cherokee over here. I'm not going to give anything to here because that would be really bad border gore, so. At least we own directly Oklahoma City. Nice. Two more divisions. Good. There you go. And there you go. Um, Honestly, Lannis is probably honestly next because I don't want to extend our border too much with them by taking these guys out. Or we could take out some of the Texas factions, but even then they'll go to war. Choctaw Nation is good. Tube heads, we love the tube heads. Um, keep you guys as kind of backup army. Put you guys like right. Yeah, just stay there for now. We're out of armor and planes. No, oh, no, we actually got plenty of armor. Well, all right, not bad. I I, I enjoyed that war. I'll be honest, I I enjoyed that war. But 
Going to the river. I need to remember. Alright, not bad, not bad. Anything you for planes? Yeah, fuel injection, why not? Interesting. Preemptive measures. Looking for love. I want to be looking for love, my friends. We're going to guarantee them tube heads. Because I would like to get down here, but we need economic growth. Where's economic growth? Looking for entertainment, huh? Decimetric radar. Yeah, even better radar. Where is economic g -g -g growth? Oh. oh, it's down there. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's going to be the next one we're going to do. First People's Junction is a place to be to buy and sell all kinds of things. Investing in its growth as a trade hub will benefit all members of the Federation. Now, I don't remember doing any of this. I think some other people did this as well, so... Adds two infrastructure to every non-capital province. No wonder we built things so quickly. Our allies were actually doing this ourselves, and that's how we got more... Oh. Train network. Oh. We got 500 more manpower from that. Cool. Protect the caravans? I'll, no wonder what well, we got protected the caravans. I wonder where that came from. I know I didn't do that one. Attract foreign caravans? Nice. I love it. But economic growth? And here we go. The fate of the Federation. Our nations have grown closer and closer in recent times, and we have danced around a particular topic for a while now. Should we jump over our own shadows and become one nation and one people? While it would make us a farce, force to be reckoned with in the area, there are not only upsides to it, even with our already close cooperation, it will still be for a while before the new nation would run as effective as an individual one's end. Some might argue that some things that make our people unique will get lost in the whole kershuffle. Cool. The big question. Our nation has grown closer. Uh, closer. It looks like this is... Uh, this looks like the exact same thing I just read. It would be a while before a new nation would run as effective as individuals one. Yeah or nah? I think we want it. Yeah. Three Nations Trade Center goes bye-bye, which was doing pretty well. And we love that extra army XP every day. Um, Ozark Lodging we love. Large-scale horse breeding. Oh, I look at that. Plus 50%. Holy crap! Plus, I don't remember reading this. Plus 15% piercing. Plus 15% max speed. Plus 50% breakthrough. That is, wow, wow. Holy bad words. Woof. Wait, so we have major business costs, as well as wasn't the other one that? Oh, Jesus Christ, I, I love this. Look at that. It's not bad. Three Nations Trade Center. Well, you just ask them all. One nation. The decision's been made. We're all one nation, one people. We will be stronger. We will prevail. We will look forward into the future. We get to core all our states, which sounds like they're not core right now, but hey, let's go ahead and spend a little bit of the cash, Reno. And, uh, oh, it was disabled. Oh, ooh, we've got way more divisions now. Does that hurt us? Oh, that hurts us. Oh, it does not look good. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. And we have, wow. Oh, outriders. Do you guys have the same type of Outriders? Are they the... Yeah, they are. Nice. Really cool. There you go. Alright, so we got the rest of infantry. Um, You guys, you nine divisions are actually what? 20 combat width, which isn't bad. But I kind of prefer my own type of bounces. Oh, there goes a the Brotherhood. Anti-armor tactics. Cool. Let's go ahead and come down here for Gary's soldier level radio integration. Eh? Nice. Uh, what do you guys have down here, though? 18 combat width, which is not bad. Bounces, and then you guys are the other one. Uh, economic precision is great news. Thank goodness, actually. I uh, just convert them all. Why not? Okay, that's good. Do we have another trade node, or just one? This might be a few too many divisions for us to handle as one particular nation. Just saying. We're, we're doing all of this stuff, which is really nice. I'm glad we're done with that. And what else? Electrical, I want to have your opinion. Should we go basic laser weaponry? Or should we go with war equipment, which is not bad, and common weaponry? Let me know in the comments below which one should we do for this campaign. We could do scout kits, but we're already using horses, so that doesn't make any sense for us to do. I want to get some of that. I actually think we might want to use some saws. Okay, so if it's going to be bad like this, let's put you guys over here. And I'm going to delete 20 more divisions because it's just costing us too much currently. Actually, I might delete you as well then. I think we can main go with that for now. I think we'll still be okay, so... For now, let's not make any more divisions because we can't really afford it. I'm not even going to be bothered looking at any of this stuff. Yeah. I, I like what we have already. Ooh. Oh, yeah. A few different types of outriders. Oh, they actually have some robots, too. Guardians? Eh, not bad, but we already have some pretty good stuff, so... Thank you very much. Make sure all y'all are what we want to be us. Oh, we can't do that. God dang it. Well, actually, what if we cut down on two of these guys, maybe? Guerrilla tactics are nice. Grab some platoon training, perhaps. 
popular cocktail. After the opening of a local black drink brewery, some enterprising individual has tried to combine it with multiple alcoholic beverages. The one that stuck out was mixing with equal parts Rotingen rum and topping it off with a prickly pear fruit. Refreshing and invigorating, allowing guests to enjoy the night life until they eventually crash and burn in their own overpriced hotel suites. Overall, a net win for us. Cheers! Weekly stability. Wow, look at that. We got the black glow. So basically, for 45 days, weekly stability, we get 7% more stability and money. Good lord, I love it. You know, I'll be honest. Sometimes some minor nations and some campaigns are just really not interesting. But this one, I I've been I've been enjoying it a lot. Or maybe the last episode was a little slow to start since I went with this one instead of going down this path on the left side here. Because this, this left side has more th stuff that's interesting, especially with the center stuff. That's even more interesting, but... Like, I'm glad we went down this particular way, but a new capital? A new ruling body. Even more political power. Wow. Let's go with the new capital, because I would like to get to the state of Sequoia by the end of this episode, so... New capital. It really isn't necessary to move the seat of our government to a new location, but you can't underestimate the symbolic value of having the center of our newly formed nation where many decades ago we signed the document that led us to this point. We still need to improve some infrastructure and amenities in the area, though, so... That'd be pretty darn nice. And after unobstructed piloting, which we are doing this stuff... Uh... Airbase roots. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to go down here as well. We might actually have to do that uh, stuff over here. Yeah, we might have to go get scout kits anyways, just so that we can get the land doctrine done for that as well. So, Great. Did we just court? Oh my gosh, look at that manpower. Bad words all around, but we love those bad words. Because it makes us feel good on the inside. Oh, we need some scrap arenos. Uh, at this point, as much as I love opening traders... Eh, no, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Why not? We can just build up more infrastructure and get more stuff anyway, so that'd be okay. Wow, I, we just cored everything here. Scavengers found something great. Oh, we can build more factories. Nice. Last patrol, of course. The scrapper's compact. Not bad. 100%. Looking pretty darn decent, I'd say. And our capital is a big spend. I love Oklahoma. So I'm thinking we might... You know what? It's actually probably worth going... Oh, followers of the apocalypse. Eh, I'll let them come in. As long as they don't do too much against us. I'm... You know what? It's probably would be best if we go to war them now. Just because we can get them over there. Holy crap, that's a lot of manpower. Uh, I, If they beat the Texan Economic Union, that's not good for us. Investments falling through. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Can we afford to lose that many caps? Eh, that's fine. We got more stability too, which is pretty nice. Yeah, they beat these guys up. Oh, the Hen Warband one instead of the Lone Star, huh? I need to play this group. So, again, huh? Cool. I'll go to the Phoenix Republic too. Okay. But, uh, yeah. If they win, that means they get multiple different areas to attack us from, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's not great. I'm going to keep you guys right here as well, just in case. And we need a new general. Oh, we didn't get the generals? Corruption's a big spin. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead again. Just read out the injustice. That'd be fine. Incinerators. Nice. Ooh, Kakuna Saunuk. Saunuk. Rocket launchers. Get some saws. I like saws. Cool. A new ruling body. There were many different groups in the various governments before we merged. In addition to that, while they may not lead the nation anymore, the skill and experience of the other two previous leaders is invaluable to a newly formed nation, which is a very, very good thing. So yeah, it's probably best if we attack them now. It's just probably for the best. Ooh, pick the followers. No. Some support equipment. No. No. Nah, none of that's worth it. So I can do that. Drastic measures never worth doing. Hope that gets fixed, like or reformed, like for the devs, like. I'd like to see that change a little bit, just because it's just never worth, at least in my opinion, taking, so. Oh, we're going to be making a lot of planes here. Let's make sure we get enough planes here, too. Boost them up, because we got plenty enough to build around here. Uh, do that, too, as well. Because we want to build up the area here so we can improve our trade now, which is only a new dish. Look at that. I think I already read that one. Let's see. Yeah, the Scorch Beast one. Enjoy your meal. Nice. Even though it's level 9, getting a level 10 would be... Oh, there goes the Hand Warband. Um, they're not any closer to us, and they're fighting the Texan Brotherhood, which is not good. Just in case, though, you guys are over there. U8000 are hanging out. Just, just, just in case. There you go. And if the horses need to get down here, that's fine as well. God dang it. What if we got rid of you, and then can we switch them back all around, maybe? No, we can't. God dang it. Uh, we're doing that, which is nice. Grab some more cover rate. That's pretty good. We got a lot of manpower. Are we still mobilizing? No, we're not. 20,000 is a pretty good number. Um, I'm not sure if we can core any parts of this. We might have to manually core it. But I want to get through the focus tree first and then see what we can do. Uh, we don't need you. Thank you very much. New ruling body. How about Gateway to the Plains Commonwealth? 
Lone Star has long dominated the trade in what used to be the Texas Commonwealth. It is hard to compete with them in their chosen area, but what we can do is become the gateway, the middleman for trade between Texas and the Plains Commonwealth. Kansas City, the scavenger ha haven of Great Bend. Junction City. Everyone knows who wants to trade in that area will have to go through us. Oh, we just get another development there anyway, so it doesn't even matter if we build civilian factories here, so. Oh, well. Nice. Great. And we're going to go with that. And we've got to get all the way down to port fire bases, which I want to use in our divisions. We're going to need a lot of radar. We're going to need a lot of military factories for them radars, too. So, Cool. All right, so we've got to do this. Just go and do that. Wow, we need 6,300. Holy crap. Mm, go with five for now, because we're going to need a lot. Go up to 15,000. Jesus. Go up to 30. Go to five and go to five. There you go. Nice. Let's make one for now. That'd be okay. Yeah, we're making about roughly 50 a day. That ain't too bad, actually. When you're done. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, they're fighting too. Oh, that's not good. That's not bueno, my friends. Well, even though we're losing money, technically, we're still making money with our casino, so we should do okay. Oh, but look at that. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the board gore is too bad for this. Fort Hood, I'm sorry, but I know it doesn't make nearly as much sense. There you go. Oh, we gave that to... Santa Ana gave that to them, so this part, Athens will go to there. Okay. That looks a little a little bit better. Okay. That is really... Why? That is disgusting. Scandrous found something great. Vertebrates! Oh, what? What just happened? Did I just... We just... Okay. But we don't have scientific air tech. Oh, man. Ah. Uh, okay. As long as they don't alien invade, we'll be okay. Get some radios on here too. Nice. Not even making any divisions too, which is kind of not good, but whatever. There you go. We don't need that. Gateway to the Commonwealth, and we need to do at least one of these. Sky's the limit. Oh, the sky's the limit. A scientific prowess of the Cherokees unmatched in his area. And nobody person personifies this better than Stanhope. A brilliant mind like his should not go to waste. Very, very good. Rowdy guess. Maybe happy hour wasn't such a great idea. It's alright. We'll deal with it. Scott is the limit. I love it. Oh, look at this. Ah, good. Now we should be not having a deficit. We max it out. Look at that. Emerald of the Waste. Earth People's Junction. Love it. We still get 1.45 political power every single day, which is pretty darn nice. So there's nothing else really here for us. All right, so we got a positive amount of caps the entire time. Can we really afford a war with these guys already? We might not be able to. A god to the tribes, huh? Oh, they're going to war with Santa Ana at the same time. Huh, okay. Strip the bunker. I still got to play these guys. Plunder. Red Rockets Glare. A gift of two heads with a new purpose. Oh, no, I want the two heads, though, back. Oh, no. Old World Factor Schematic Arenos. We'll see. That's why I have the extra army up here. The followers establish themselves. Please stop loading my war support. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Yeah, auto injectors. And maybe get some doggies. All right. You know, we're going to risk it, maybe. Uh, we need 10,000 of these guys. 10,000. Jeez. We make about 75 a day, which is not too bad. Uh, we still got plenty of support equipment, though. Nice, there you go. Basic drills, good. A little bit ahead of time for that. Support equipment, it's a little bit ahead of time. Doggos, let's get some doggos, finally. Alright, we're gonna risk it, guys. We're gonna risk it, risk it, risk it, risk it. And... Oh! Oh, then she's gonna war with them, too. Alright, I'm gonna wait for them to... Can we actually just beat them up, maybe? Alright, not bad. They're not attacking us too much yet, so... Okay, then. We'll see. We'll, we will definitely see what happens here. We'll watch their efforts with great interest. Just in case. And just in case. Kanuna? Let's go ninja. I like ninja a lot. Oh boy, we lost the ship, didn't we? We lost a training ship. That's alright. Now eventually we're going to be stacking more bodies up here. Can we see this yet? God dang it, we can't. 
Um, CQC training is pretty darn nice. Anything else here? Yes. Ah, Specialist Warfare, yes. Oh crap, we're getting naval invaded. Oh, is, that is not good. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we're... Hold on, hold on, hold on. How many divisions do they have? 79,000 men. 71 divisions, which is not bad. Mostly infantry, though, but still. Guys, it'd be smarter if you guys went this way and encircled them that way. So, just saying. Oh, man. Yep. You need defense zone. Oh, they're, they're cut off. There you go. And... Oh, we can't do this one yet? Oh, we have to be a piece? Oh, man, I should not have done that. God dang it. Looking for entertainment? We could use more stability. After a night like this, everyone could use some distraction. What better way than a good movie? And I just know the place where we can get some. It's a, if the future isn't bright, at least it's colorful. That's pretty good. You want to hold for now? You can head out over there, maybe. You're not going to be able to do it too much, but that's alright. Help and circle this guy. That'd be good. You guys get over there and get over there. Hopefully they haven't naval invaded anywhere else, right? Are we still doing well over... Yeah, we are. Wow. That is nuts. Just That's just nuts. I want you guys to focus on taking out the north. Get all the way like here. I'm not sure if I'd really call that the north, but whatever. I want you guys to go all the way right here and do some of that. There you go. These guys have been cut off. Yep, completely cut off. Nice. Keep it up, guys. That breakthrough of yours is tremendous. Lord of the Pit, thank you. Rudy would not be bad. Pain train, meh. Experience soldiers losses would actually probably be pretty good. Let's go with Rudy for now. Good, good, good. Ah, uh, Alanius. Beautiful. Alright. They might naval invade us again sometime. Looks like they're stacking more bodies up here, so we're going to come over here as well and maybe do that. But we got to end this episode right here. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll beat up Lanius and have a good time doing so. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.